Okay, yeah, that is checkmate right there. Like, no atheist can logically prove that their system of morality and ethics came from anywhere other than the ideas that came from this book. So, that's checkmate. But, what does that solve? It doesn't solve really anything other than he's got to figure out how he's going <laughs> to reset the game or, you know, like this is the thing where I caught a Jordan Peterson lecture about just what this book means to humanity, human history. And it's not just faith. I mean, atheists and theists have to understand that if this book didn't exist, then that identity of atheist and theist would be completely out the door. So if this book is gone, God doesn't exist, then what? Who are you? You're, you can no longer be a theist or a Christian or an atheist or anything like that. So what are you? Who are you? What are you doing? And again, theists, you know, maybe it's not checkmate. You know, like, how do we know that we wouldn't have all that without this book? And that is why I feel that the book ends by saying no one shall add or take away from this book from here on out. Because Deacon Verdeman brought up uh, an argument saying, when were the scriptures from the Old Testament found by who? It's just like, and you said, that doesn't matter. You said, oh, okay, well then, clearly, I know more about Christianity than you. It's just like... <laughs> the whole discussion just kind of lost its gusto at that point. Um, but, again, let's look at like the evolution of God from Eric von Doniken, where he said, you know, when I realized that maybe God in the Old Testament was aliens, and then he looked at it like every time the word God came up, they meant aliens or, you know, like, and then that sparked the pursuit of Eric von Doniken doing all of his works that led to an entire field of study called ancient archaeology that is like finding stuff that is now using science and scientific methods that is kind of proving that this book is more true than once just believed or not believed. The fact that they found like in the painting of Mary's inception or like how like they said like oh like and then there's like a a ship like in the, in the top corner how did anybody not see that like how did again in the last supper Michelangelo's painting there's like a alien ship it's like how did we not catch that and I haven't seen the movie Immortals but it's just like you know there was a theory that the indigenous people didn't even realize that the ships were there until they noticed like people, I guess white people like coming out of it and they're like, well, who, who's that? Like, I reckon, I'm like, so it's just like, you know, until you are looking for something or recognize something, you won't see it's there. Let's not get off topic there. But again, that Jordan Peterson lecture introduced a new understanding that like this book is like the history and collection of all of human like I 
ideas from the beginning. In the beginning, there was darkness and God said, let there be light. Like, okay, here are two principles. Like, here's an issue. What is God? What is light? What is darkness? You know, like, these are, like, ideas you got to think. Like, when this is first, it, like, nobody knew what all that stuff is. So, like, imagine the difficulty of, like, oh, yeah, uh, darkness is this. Okay, and then you got to wait, like, 12 hours. Okay, this is light. Remember that. These are the two, okay? And then now, the seas and the earth. This is the sea. This is the earth. You know, like, when you're a parent, I see so many parents who just, like, reprimand their kid or discipline their kid like it's don't do that and i hear the kid like why it's like because that's bad or that's wrong and they don't give an explanation of what that means or why it's that way or whatever it's just just no it's wrong so my dad told me my father told me there are people who will see a, a cup on fire and just no don't touch that cup because you're going to get burned why? Because they were told that and they just believe it. They know not to touch it. They won't touch the cup and they won't get burned. Then there are people who are told, hey, if you touch this cup, you're going to get burned. So don't touch the cup. And the people touch the cup and they're like, oh, that's what burn is. That's why they said, don't touch it. Okay, now I get it. I'm not going to touch it again. Then my father added that then there's people like you who touch the cup, get burned. No. Why not to touch it? Then you touch it again, get burned another time. And it's like you just keep touching the cup. Why do you keep getting burned and touching the cup, touching the cup? Are we bad parents? And I was just like, oh, baby, I'm trying to create an oven, Dad. <laughs> you know, and right then, just out of like desperate, like wittiness, I was like, I think I just struck genius so again just from a 40 year old disciple of christ trying to pass along some wisdom to you know the youth is just let them let them figure it out on their own he was coming around when you were doing your method of just where did that come from and then where that going backwards going backwards and then when you get to that point where he's just like oh that's when you just kind of leave it and then let them mull that over. That's not like the, so many of us will use that as the door is like, ha, I got you. And then move into the next point. So, you know, if you want to just hear my honest advice on just how to not deal with demon Brimen, but people, atheists and stuff like that, where you get them to that back point, just when you get them to the beginning of that original thought that they have on morality and where it all comes from, just stop and change it to like, oh, so how about this weather? Because once you just kick it to the next idea, that might backtrack and forget. I might be completely wrong, but again, who knows? Who knows until we try, right? So again, I'm on a personal goal to prove that God is love, Love is the energy that we need to heal this world. And I am love. I am the word love. Granted, there are many other people who are loved like you, but I have just took and taken it upon myself to just be the savior and just say, this is who I am. If this is what we need, I will be love. And I will die to proving it that So I feel the love in you. Thank you for just going with God. And, you know, there's a way to get through to these not gods. And it's just a, it's a process. So just keep doing what you're doing. But again, word of advice is just slow down baby steps <laughs> I know we we want to get them to catch up but hey it's kind of like the turtle race for we gotta just let them go we can go take a nap go find another not God to deal with but again thank you for getting him to think about that or origin I hope that he reflects on that rather than the other facts but again 
I hope that that was a takeaway for you um, in your next conversations. God bless you. Remain blessed.